Hello everyone, welcome to another Tuesday Tech Tip at 45 Drives. Uh, I'm back, I'm Brett, I haven't been here in a while, but I'm excited to be here and uh, I have a question for you. Have any of you spent a lot of time installing, configuring, spinning up, spinning down VMs and Proxmox? Has that ever happened to you? Are you annoyed about that? Is that taking too much time in your life? Well, it was in mine. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how you can automate your deployments of VMs and Proxmox using Terraform and Ansible. So why don't you join me at the screen and we'll get into it. Okay, Ansible Terraform Proxmox demo. Um, oh, before we get started, need a coffee. Um, what are we doing, All right? So what we're gonna go through today is, well, a demo on how you can use Terraform to deploy a bunch of VMs and then automate that with Ansible and uh, all on Proxmox. So really all these tools, free. Um, as always, we love our open source software. But today, we are going to, uh, we're gonna hop on the screen here. We're gonna take a look through VS Code. We're gonna look at the playbooks that we're gonna use. These playbooks will be available on our 45 Drives GitHub. Um, they're just demo playbooks. So again, if you're gonna use them in production, I recommend that you test them and, and modify them for your own use case first. But yeah, we'll go through the playbooks. We'll take a look in Proxmox. Uh, we have one VM deployed already because I'll, I'll go in and I'll show you kind of like what the Terraform file looks like and everything like that. Um, yeah, and so we'll get started. So I guess let's start with some quick definitions. What the heck is Terraform? Uh, Terraform is a tool that is used to uh, provision, deploy, remove all those words for um, uh, virtual machines on various uh, platforms, whether that be Proxmox, just generic KVM stuff, uh, AWS, uh, Google Cloud, all those. Its main purpose is for provisioning in the cloud, but you can, um, you can use in Proxmox, like we've been doing. Uh, Ansible, if you've been watching with us, you know what Ansible is by now, automation framework that makes everything really easy. And uh, Proxmox, again, open source uh, virtualization manager that uses KVM under the hood. So with all that stuff out of the way, Let's go and get started. All right, so let's start in the Proxmox screen here. So if uh, everyone who's seen Proxmox before this looks familiar, and if you haven't, well, it's Proxmox. Um, this is a, a PV, Proxmox virtual, virtualization environment, um, cluster that we have in our lab, we use for demos, stuff like this. Um, and uh, I have one VM deployed already. I deployed this VM with our playbooks. So I'm just figuring out how we should start here. Um, I gave you the definition, so let's, let's, let's get into it. What's the bare minimum? What do you, where do you have to go to start? Uh, well, I have two playbooks. Well, I have three playbooks, but we're only gonna use two of them. We have an init Proxmox, which just kind of sets up the, the, uh, the server that you're running these playbooks from, whether it's Proxmox itself. In my case here, it's a virtual machine running on the Proxmox environment. And it installs the Terraform dependencies. It sets up the um, like Ter Terraform Proxmox provider. Like I said before, Terraform is very flexible. So it uses different providers to figure out who it's actually running its things on. Um, so we're gonna give it and set up the Proxmox provider. And we're gonna give this um, Ansible master the ability to SSH and do whatever it wants on the Proxmox server. So for, this, for the sake of this video, we've already set that up already. But this playbook that will, um, be available to everyone, this does that for you. So if you've got your own Proxmox environment, you'd run this thing first. It'll set everything up the way you want it. So I'll close that. Um, the other thing that you need before you start is a template. You do need to start, create one VM on your own, build it up, install it by hand, and um, create that as your template. Uh, we have an Ubuntu cloud init template. That's what we're working from. You can use other ones, but um, Ubuntu's cloud init function makes it very easy to just spin up something and not give it much input. So uh, that's what this 9,999 Ubuntu cloud VM is. Um, I'll show you in a minute in the Terraform file where, like where that comes in, how you call it. Um, so let's go back over here. So I've got one defined already in Terraform, right? I've got one VM already deployed, this Gateway 01. So essentially what these playbooks are doing they're taking a bunch of information. I'll show you the kind of inventory file we're working from in a second, but it takes a bunch of that information and it just goes and creates that many VMs for you. 
At the end of the day, what it's really doing is creating this file you're looking at right now. It's creating the Terraform plan file and it's running that. So let's just rip through the options real quick, give you an idea what we're talking about. So it tells it which node it wants to run on because this does support uh, Proxmox clusters. And Proxmox cluster can have n number of nodes in, it, in its cluster. I said cluster a lot there, but whatever. Uh, name of the VM and a description. Um, that's what shows up here and then what shows up in the little notes box. Uh, HA group, if you're using HA, uh, high availability groups and Proxmox, you can choose which group this VM would go into. That's a configurable option. In our case here, we're not using that. Um, on boot tells it to start. Um, when you've started up Proxmox or if you rebooted the node, make sure the VM gets started right away. But here's what I was talking about with the template. This clone equals, you would just need to um, tell Terraform plan which clone it wants to work from and it'll grab that and create copies of it. Uh, you want it to be a full clone. I don't want it to be linked to the parent just in case I have to delete that parent and make a new one. I don't want to lose all the VMs attached to it. Uh, the guest agent, if that's going to be on. Uh, the size of the VM. So to uh, how many cores and uh, how much memory. So while we're here, let me jump to another file. I'm going to hit keep open on this. Uh, let's jump over to all.yaml. Um, so that's what's all defined here. All this information is what gets grabbed and thrown into here. So this is the size of the VM, two gigs memory, two cores, disk size, um, which disk storage on Proxmox to use. Uh, in our case, we have it back to RBD images, surprise, surprise, it's F, uh, and a username password for this VM that you want. Like I said before, we're not, we don't have any HA groups, but you can define that if you're there. Back to the Terraform file, it uses the default networking in Proxmox, um, creates itself a disk, learns what kind of OS type it is, and then this is how networking is set. These variables are set down here when you define a uh, VM. You notice we said gateways here because we've, how we've been using this is in one particular situation, might be different for others. Um, and then SSH keys so you can get in from, the, uh, from this um, system manager, the, the Ansible master. So that's a general overview of what the Terraform plan looks like. I know I went through that very quick. If you want to check the Terraform docs, there's a lot more information there. But the point of this is this gets dynamically generated. This file here now, the, the all.yaml file, our group virus for the playbooks, this is where we're going to define what matters to us. We don't have to go in underneath because remember, that's the beauty of Ansible. We just want to change key little parameters and let it do the rest. Um, so really where that comes in is down here, this gateway specification. So remember I said I had one deployed already. This is it here. It's present, it's got the IP, and that was that Terraform file we were just looking at. So I guess the next thing to do is uh, let's deploy another one. So in this case, um, we've, I'm going to call it gateway2, just give it a generic comment. This is the IP information I want that VM to have, and its state is present. Uh, three states are available. If you leave present, it, whenever you run the deploy playbook, it'll always create it. If it's already there, it'll just leave it there. If, um, if you put absent, the, there's another playbook we have called remove gateway, which will literally just delete the VM. It'll, it'll be gone. Um, if you put stopped, it just stops the VM. Uh, that might work for some people. Feel free to change it for the, uh, uh, for our purposes, that's, that was what we were looking for. Kind of, uh, we're kind of doing VMs as close to stateless containers as we could. Uh, anyway, spare you the gory details there. Um, so with this defined, I now have two gateways in the inventory file. I only have one deployed. So when I run this playbook, when we're done, we'll see that we have a new VM and our other one is still sitting there pretty. So we're gonna go host, and we're just gonna run, if I spell it right, deployvm.yaml. Um, while we're here, let me just uh, show it to you real quick. All we're doing in this playbook is we're importing the role gateway base, which is included, and that's what is all the tasks that set up our Terraform um, environment and then executes it. So essentially, writes the plan, says apply the plan. A lot of words for something simple there. So let's run it. 
So check to see if the play, plan exists, makes SSH keys, rips through all very quickly. See how everything was already deployed already, so it skipped the first one, and now it's on to the second one. So it'll sit at Terraform Apply for a little bit here, because what it's actually doing is it's grabbing that VM. Actually, why don't I show you? So we're back at the Proxmox screen here. You can see on the left-hand side, Gateway O2 is locked. It's, start, it's stopped. It's starting to uh, be created. It's being cloned. We can see that action down here. We're cloning from the RBD image. And uh, now we just wait. Wait till that's done. All right, so that looks like it's all finished now. The VM started. Um, if I go back, yep, so that finished. So what it did, it did a clone. And then it started the VM. And uh, let's see if all our stuff is done. So it'd be one, two. I think I gave it password as the password, super secure. Yep, there's our first boot and everything's in. So uh, you could update, you could use this, but whatever you had pre-configured on this template that you're using, you've now got a copy of that VM. So uh, obviously someone might be at home being like, that's not faster, it took you more time, it'd be easier to just left click and hit clone. True, but if you had hundreds of these things to do, this would be really nice, because they all get done in parallel. Um, so, haha, -ha, right back at you, uh, to the imaginary person who's chirping me. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's how you can deploy. Um, if you're interested, remember how I said you could uh, you could um, remove them this way too. So let's let's get rid of that same one we just created. You'd go into your inventory file. You wouldn't delete or anything. You just put the state as absent. It's not here anymore. Um, and we use the remove gateway playbook, and it correctly tells you, "Are you sure you want to do this?" And I said, "Yep, yes, I do. Make it go away." This one, luckily, is much, much quicker because it just says, deletes it. As you notice on the, I don't know if you caught it on the side here, but the, um, no, never mind. I was going to make a point, but I was wrong. I think I'm just seeing things, guys. Don't mind me. No, there, it went that time where it actually deleted the uh, plan file. That So at this point, it's like, there's, it's as if I never deployed that thing. If I put it back to present, it'll come back. If I leave this in state absent, run that deploy playbook again, playbook again, it'll just get skipped. And if we go back to Proxmox, see it's gone now too. So that's, uh, that's a quick overview. Now, by no means is that like super useful out of the box. Um, it's more of an idea a demo to show you what you can do with Terraform, Ansible, and Proxmox. Um, we're, we're, we're using it in a couple different projects around here, so we wouldn't be surprised if you hear more from us about that. But um, with that, I think we're done. So that's it. That's the demo of uh, deploying VMs with Ansible and Terraform. So no more clicking clone, 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 and making VMs and moving them around. Um, so uh, when you run that playbook, I'll grab a coffee, tell the boss you're working. So uh, we'll catch you next week.